Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up.
away from the power hand. Okay. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go.
the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Let's see what we get out of him tonight. Bad Intentions, his decision win last time out, has a lot of people thinking that he's going to look prime this evening. Well, there's a reason to think that. I mean, everyone loves knockouts, don't get me wrong. But by going the distance, by getting those rounds, he got a little bit more practice, a little bit more confidence. It should serve him tonight. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Gordon. Teddy, I know the situation we have in front of us, a fighter who has low stamina fighting a power puncher, and we know what can happen in the fight, but what can happen before he gets to this point to help him with a fight like this? Well, when you're training, let him go extra rounds. Let him understand that he does have the stamina. The mental part of boxing is 75%. Most guys, they have stamina, they just don't know it. Combination to the head. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Gordon. Keep that head Land flush with the combination upstairs. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Headshot lands, was a hook. Good one-two by Bad Intentions. Good looking right hand after he got hit. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Combo lands upstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Missed that uppercut. Burn up. Bad intentions. His work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And round number three is underway. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Bad Intentions is controlling this fight right now. There's one main reason. His jab. Now, he's an inside fighter, but his jab has been the reason he's had success. Yeah, he's been successful on the outside with that jab, controlling range, controlling everything. And it's allowed him to get to the places you just alluded to on the inside in a safe way. Scores with the combo to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Jab, followed by the straight by Bad Intentions. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Round number four, the last go-round for these two is underway. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. is at his best when the combinations are landing. 
He scored well there with that combo. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Gordon's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Last 10 seconds of the fight. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. All the rounds in the books for the official decision. Let's send it up to the ring.